All right, Scalestorm here, back with Elix, and um, we are heading out of here. I think we kind of last video we kind of took a lot of this place, uh, or went all around this place. Um, so let's talk to Duras here. Do you often find clerics in a den? All the factions come here. For intel, for resources, we all take from each other. At least it's just rage from the clerics for now. <clears throat> there have been wars in the past, and it does seem like there are some clerics who want to repeat those mistakes and take us back into open warfare. Here, I found these. Elix technology. It's forbidden to berserkers. Officially, you're supposed to hand it in when you arrive in Goliath, but... That'll be your choice. Just don't go flashing those weapons around when we get back, okay? Some berserkers are really strict about the laws. Others are more lenient. You see, we leave the albs and the clerics to rely on machines. In Edan, we use magic. Let's go on to Goliath. Right. Follow me. You say there were albs in this area. How long ago was that? The raider crashed a week ago. It's been quiet since then. Well, apart from the scouting party on the edge of the forest, it feels like something serious is brewing up there in Zaycor. And that's bad news for us all. Are you ready to go on? I'll get this one. Ah! Ah! Oh, look at that thing over there. I ain't messing with that. It's terrifying out here. Nice. Got a little combo going. Are you ready to go on? What's in this place, Doris? Doras, whatever your name is. Ooh, quiver. Ten arrows, nice. Yeah, hold on a second, buddy. Let's take a oh shit, what's that? Those are probably not good guys. I'm gonna stay away from that. What the fuck? Oh, there's a guy out there. I guess he doesn't see us, though. Oh, now he might. Are those shotgun shells down there? Or something? No. I don't, know if, I don't know if there are shotguns in this game. Probably not. I have a feeling that guy... Ooh, pack of smokes. I have a feeling whatever that thing is noticed us. Uh, maybe he went and fought those... Oh, maybe he went and fought those guys. Can we see who those guys are? They're too far for our bow. Oh, no, they're not. I can't tell, though. I ain't gonna mess with them. Not right now. Let's see what's in here. Tape. Damn thing. But these mutants are everywhere. There! 
there, you hear that? They're coming from above. Hey, you idiots! Move your asses and get them! Okay. Maybe we should sneak around down here. I guess I could use one of our torches, but I don't think... I don't know if there's anything down here. I don't know, what, I don't know if the light affects what they can see. I would assume it does. If I light up a torch and there's a some kind of creature down here. Oh, there's definitely something down here. We're getting some good healing potions, so that's good. Do a quick save here. Wait. There's a dead body. That's not good. something over there we'll fly to there's a couple dead bodies oh shit well he definitely saw me now oh suck it got that combo working a little bit here oh there's ruby she was the one who made the uh, that tape she's a goner don't, Darius, don't run. I'm not by you, dude. I'm below you. Dead outlaw. Beer, water bottle, Alexit. That guy didn't have a very good... Oh, was he tied up there? No, he just died that way. Another dead outlaw. Scrap small white gemstone. Okay. More scrap. I like. The, oh, this game is a lot of fun to me because I like scavenging like this and shit. So, oh god, and there's stuff everywhere. You can easily miss. Jesus. Another thing. I don't know if you can swim in this. I doubt it. Is this swimmable? Oh, it's not deep enough. Okay. I don't think you can swim. I mean, in Risen, you were a pirate and you couldn't swim. <laughs> so if you can swim in this game, I guess, I mean, you could, but... I'd be surprised if you can for some reason. Is nothing over here? Seems weird. Something over here. Oh, come on, guy. Really? Alright. Is that a. No. I don't know if I'll go too far out here right now. Maybe there's something out here. Powerful healing plant. There you go. Looks like a dead creature over there, or a sleeping one. I don't want to get too far over. Uh, that one's definitely not sleeping. I don't want to get too far around where those other guys could see me. Let's tell me it's dangerous here now. Alright. Yeah, I think we should uh, probably listen to the game at the moment and uh, let's head back. We found some stuff down there though, so it was worth the trip. Are you ready to go on? I am ready to go on. I like to loot Duras, 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 whatever. Let's go. 
Go. I'm a loot whore. We should get moving. Oh. Oh, I thought I saw some pop up. Oh! Ah, kill, kill steel, dude. Let's go. Yeah, we haven't put any points in anything yet. Uh, not really sure where I'm going with those, but I think my one put my I, want, I think I want that stamina one because that seems useful. Are you ready to go on? Cause our stamina goes down every time we swing, so we can get more swings off. That just seems like a good thing. You should be able to make your way on alone from here. You can find some nice. Power, get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whenever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some before heading into the wastelands, but that's up to you. Have a look around our community. Let's see what we can offer you. What happens if you find an Alp here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists, a group of Alps that has broken away from Zaycor. Maybe they can be allies. <clears throat> you should not trust traitors. I'm not going to call him an idiot. He's been nice to me. You think the Separatists will help you fight the Alps? You think hmm. the Separatists will help you fight the Alps? Maybe these Separatists want to join the Free People. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together we can defeat the Alps. But for now, the Separatists are outnumbered, without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. A Berserker Warrior. Alright, let's take a look at what we got going here. We just did a lot. So we got a new one, Refuge of the Separatists. The Separatists are Alps who have left Zaycor. They continue to take Elix. But their views differ from Zaycor's directives. Some want to stop taking Helix. Some defy the hybrid. Others escaped execution. <clears throat> they might have information on Zaycor that can lead me to who is behind the attempt to kill me. I should speak to their leader if I can find him. Okay. Our main missions haven't changed. But we got a new companion option. The Berserker Dura seems not to recognize me and wants to help people. I need assistance and he could be good support. Right, so it looks like Duras is definitely going to be one of our companion options since he's under the companion uh, quest thing here. We found a lot of stuff. I think extra specials. Got some liquor. Got some beer. Small elix drink. 100 XP. Oh, we can just drink that. Get 100 XP. Nice. There may be something else we can do with it, though. The we really need to worry about that at the moment. Because we just leveled up. There's no way to know how much XP we need. So, coal popped up a few times. I believe that is our... Kind of our, um... What's the right word? Either we're nice or bad, kind of our uh, alignment, I guess, in a way. So when cold decreases, I think that means we're being we did a nicer or a choice. And if cold increases, I believe that means that we did more of a like renegade choice <laughs> for Mass Effect, say Paragon Renegade, or whatever. So that's what that is. I wasn't really sure what cold was. Like, at first I thought it had something to do with the environment, but apparently it has to do with our morality. That's the right word, morality. And so we got another warp. So if we look at our map, let's see, we have two warps available. Small Camp and Goliath. And we have Goliath here. We have the Domed City. We have 
the fort. And we have the hort. So I believe this is the cleric area. The fort is the outlaws in the desert. The dome city, I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. And I think up here is where the albs are. Um, and then obviously here's the berserker stronghold area. Else. Well, we got 400 more XP there. So we entered the city, but we're not really in it. Find someone else to well, maybe, maybe we are. Hey, hey, you. What do you want? I'm looking for a guy who was supposedly seen in the area recently. His name is Ray. Whiny little shitbag. Reckons he's an outlaw. Oh, that's the guy that we think took our stuff, I think, isn't it? Tell me about him. No, no. No, no. Doesn't matter to you. It's just business. Forget about it. It could be that we are looking for the same guy. You are, you say. Well, well. Have you seen him then? Ray? No, I've not met him. Lucky you. Let me know if you meet the little piss streak. I want words with him. Uh, he, Ray seems like uh, Ray is pissing off a lot of people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the guy in our quest log, Cultivator's Loaf, who is uh, the guy who um, stole our gear when we were knocked out for a couple days there. I guess we're technically in the Berserker City, I guess. We got... Looks like guard posts here. Just a guard. Oh. I'm going in over your dead body if necessary. Combat 2. Huh. not letting us in. I bet there's a way we can get in there. Somehow we have a jetpack. Let's see what's in here. Looks like a watchtower of some kind. Recipe for a small healing potion, nice, and pick locks. Beautiful. Looks like you can't climb the ladder any faster. What are you up here? Alright. Pack of smokes, they like their smokes. Some uh, ballista, uh, what do you call them here? Like, I'm having a brain fart. Some more arrows, which is nice. All right, how are we gonna get past this guy? I want to see what's in here. There's got to be a way to get past them. We have a jetpack. Alright. He didn't see us there. So this is the pit he said to believe is where they put all their tech the berserkers they don't use technology technically they absorb mana from the technology or something like that for their spells I think but then they dump all the
technology in here after it's been all the elix was has been converted to mana, something of that nature, so. so there's a lot of forbidden stuff in here, it looks like. So I can only assume forbidden ooh a jackhammer. I think you use that to mine. I think you could I can only assume that forbidden means if somebody sees us take it, they're going to be sh pissed off. So, but nobody else is in here right now. Any toxin? Movement detector. Ooh, what is that? 200 XP. Completed energy. What is that? Mission item. Apparently we uh that's a mission that we didn't get yet. That's one of the oh here we go. I've been asked to steal a movement detector from the pit. Well we haven't. Technically, apparently somebody wants us to take that. And we took it before they gave us the quest. Now that's a cool part about Paranabite games that I always liked though, is that unlike most game a lot of games, I'll say most games, well probably, um, when there's quests you're not able to start the quest until um, you talk to the quest giver, right? Analyzing. Ooh, crony. Oh, there's our droid. Assistance needed. Hold on, buddy. I'll be there in a second. I'm looking around. <laughs> Maintenance protocol required. Now, as I was saying, um, you normally can't start a quest unless you've talked to the quest giver, but in most of the Piranha Bite games I've played, you can actually complete the quest and not even know it, and then you go back and just, you know, you kind of, if you talk to the guy later, you just turn in the quest or whatever. Because some games, for example, like, that piece wouldn't have even spawned there yet in the world until you talk to the quest giver, and this game is not like that. You can find it, and then like, oh, this is part of a quest, and later on somebody will talk to you about it, and then you can turn it in. So you can do the quest backwards almost, which is pretty cool. Hmm. But instead, you were found by the berserkers. You're lucky you haven't been dismantled for your helix. Are you able to come with me? System error. Failure off. Failure off. System error. Identify system error. Analyzing. Minor damage to primary systems. Defense system and weapons are offline. Primary control system impaired. Can you repair yourself? Analyzing. Negative. No repair possible at this location. Yeah, that would be too easy. <laughs> Status report of our last mission goals. Primary goal. Locate and secure Thorold, highest leader of the Berserkers, known as the Pilgrim. Mission status failed. Huh. Secondary goal. Secure data describing transmutation process of pure elex into mana. Mission status failed. Tertiary goal. Scout Edan for weaknesses in the Berserker defenses. Mission status failed. Well, that was a success, huh? Negative. Commanding unit status. Privileges revoked. Execution ordered as a result of mission failure. So, we were sent here to spy on the Berserkers, pretty much. It's, okay. What do you need to complete repairs? This location isn't safe. Identifying. Nearest automated repair station is in North Abessa. Then go. But you four, you are not to report on my status. If asked about me, state that I died in the crash. I will meet you at the repair station in Abessa. All right. So it looks like he's got to find a place to repair himself, so we can't quite get him as our companion yet, unfortunately. Um, but it's interesting, so our main uh, mission, the mission that we technically were sent here for, was to find the Berserk 
Seeker Leader. Learn how they convert Elix into mana, it looked like. And I think there's one other thing he said. Um, but we obviously weren't able to do that. And we were shot down by some kind of laser weapon. Or, so it makes me think without really knowing what's going on, because I don't, that we obviously were set up in some way. That's what I'm going with. Because we were shot by a weapon that, well, I guess it could have been a cleric weapon. It wouldn't be the berserkers, because we, we were shot down by like a, you know, a, a, a energy weapon of some kind or something. Berserkers, I don't believe, use those. Clerics use them, and the Albs use them. I'm not sure how the outlaws work with energy weapons and all that kind of stuff. So I guess it could have been the outlaws, but I have a feeling they're kind of... I don't think they had anything to do with it. I don't know, but it's just a feeling. I'm curious if this guy's going to be pissed that I'm in here. Like, can I leave here? Now, he told me not to come in, but obviously I'm in here. Does he remember? Or am I able to walk out? Let's see. No entry. Oh, okay. Apparently he thought I just snuck a little past him. And he kicked me out. But he didn't know I just took everything that was in there. That works for me. Alright, let's head into the uh, Berserker City of Goliath proper now, I guess. We were kind of on the outskirts. How close are we to our next level? Uh, halfway, okay. We haven't put any points in anything yet, so... in me by the warlords of Goliath. I hereby challenge you to state who you are and what you want. You should know that Goliath is eternally vigilant in its search for Alps. Okay. Do I look like an Alb? Well, Alps are normally pasty white, but I've heard some of them are painting themselves to look normal just so they can come in here and cause trouble. All right, all right. You can go in, but all weapons must remain sheathed. Start anything, and a paladin will turn you to ash faster than you can say, I wish that Doras guy hadn't sent me here. Oh, and don't steal anything, or flash technology around. I don't expect any more or less from you. Understood. Good. Then I welcome you in the name of the Berserkers. the hooded crows we are the warrior clan of the berserkers our warlord ragnar proven in battle worthy defender of goliath leads us as we stand to defend our cause from all who would oppose it from within or without we stand as guardians for fairness and justice equality and order all who wish to join the berserkers must answer to ragnar who's ragnar how can you not have heard of him Ragnar the Fierce? Ragnar, son of Bajar? He is the highest warlord here in Goliath. Literally, he lives up there in the ruins from the old world. Who is in charge here? Weren't you listening? Oh. As long as Thorold, the great pilgrim and master of all magic, is away on retreat, Ragnar, warlord of the Hooded Crows, is in charge. Warlord of warlords, mighty and just, he is an example to us all. I wouldn't go knocking on his door unless you're serious about joining us. But you might get lucky and see him in the lower quarter. He likes to keep an eye on things personally. Right, got it. That's why Duras sent you here? To be recruited? You better join us and not the outlaws if you want to live. Follow the laws, impress people, and Ragnar might see fit to let you become a berserker. Break the laws, and we'll break you. 
So, your leader Thorold is not in the city? No. Master Thorold, the pilgrim, glorious, great, and wise, has gone into retreat. There he seeks answers. From there he will return to bring us victory. He will return as soon as his mission is successful. Until then, he has given Warlord Ragnar command of Goliath. Okay, I've got it. It sounds like you're expecting trouble. Outlaws, clerics, and now the Alps starting wars, and that's before we talk about mutants. Where have you been if you don't think there's trouble in the world? But don't worry, you'll be safe here. No Alps getting past me. Is there somewhere I can stay in Goliath? Maybe, down by the tavern or with the cultivators. Try the lower quarter. There's room there for honest men. Pay your way, or work for your stay, and you'll be welcome. We are the protectors of Magalan, and we welcome all free people here. So, what can I do during my stay? Can you handle a weapon? Yes. Then you'll find work. We're short of people since the attacks began. This place doesn't sound too safe. Where is? With the Albs looking to tear down this whole world. You're short of people? Everyone's lost people to the Albs. Workers, cultivators, warriors. They're all looking for more hands. You'll need to earn your place. But there are tasks for all hands. And the shards to pay for them. You use shards as money? What else are you going to use? Everyone uses Alexa as money. And don't start on with trying to barter your way with raptor shit. You'll need Alexei, or decent old world scrap if you want to make a deal. Alright, no raptor shit. Well, thank you, Jog. Maybe later. Alright. We'll talk later, yeah? Okay. All right, well, obviously nobody wants to talk to us. Not now, maybe later. We'll talk later. So cultivators, we saw here. Probably some kind of... I don't know. Don't steal anything here. How do you know I was going to steal? Not now. So if you're inside, it's stealing. Claw out here, but that's not forbidden. Whatever that thing is. That cultivator. What are you looking for here? I'm just looking around, lady. I'm gonna go up. Somebody up here. Is it stealing up on top? It is forbidden. Now, not the time, all right? There's a lot of arrows up here, too. Oh, shit. What are you doing here? Stop talking to me like that. I'm trying to get down. Get off the ladder, lady. These guys don't like technology, so I don't know if I should start throwing around my jetpack. You know, it's pretty obvious I have one on. And so anything inside is stealing, anything outside of buildings as of so far seems to be free uh, free game for us. It's a pretty cool uh, little village here. So these guys, so the berserkers definitely seem to be the medieval race, right? I mean, this place looks like it's coming right out of a medieval village.
Oh, this broom's forbidden. Is it because I'm inside this? Is it anything with a roof is uh, forbidden? We have nothing to talk about. Okay. So pretty much like a lot of games like this, if they don't have a name, they're probably not important. No, not now. So you probably you want to find everybody with a name and talk to them. That would be probably, uh, you know, those probably be a quest giver if they have a name or something. Moldy bread. What? We just got 200 XP for that. Can we kill this rat? Yes. Nice. Apples next to the moldy bread. Arrows. Arrows. Every time I've seen arrows so far, I think there's always been five of them. I'm not sure how many were there actually, but maybe only four. Could have been five. So what is this moldy bread? We picked up moldy bread and got XP. Whoa, they just yelled at me for putting my technology away. Well, I'm not doing it, lady. So I guess this is a mission item. Not quite sure what the mission is yet. What happens if we walk in the houses? Do they yell at us? Uh, everything's forbidden. What are you doing here? Just looking around. I'm watching you. They're giving me shit. Really, dude? Yeah, what do you want? Is he gonna walk in farther? Can I steal this unusable first aid kit? And you're here for what? What are you doing here? Lousy oh shit! Oh, pff. oh, I just got whacked. I want that cultivator loaf. I didn't see me that time. Five of those loafs, whatever they are. You quit sneaking around, I saw you. Thief. Damn it. I'm not going to spend all day stealing wine, but uh, the color of five of those loaves may come in handy. And you're here for what? Oh, this looks more like a, yeah, not now, all right. maybe a store of some kind. Chest, but I need a key for it. You know I can see you, right? Shut up. I was everybody peeking in rooms and, and windows in this Quit place. Around. I saw you. So you guys got their basic uh, work in their daily. Uh... Ooh, I think I saw a sword there. I did snake bite. A recipe, small healing potion. Then we just got a new sword. Snake bite poison. Oh, we need thirty strength and sixty dexterity to use it. Well, it's worth six hundred. Alexa compared to these things, so yeah. It, it gives us 41 damage with poison. Wow, that's pretty badass. 
Wow, that, okay, that is worth maybe trying to level up to get, right? But that's going to be a long time before we get 60 dexterity. 10 points of level, that's 6, 9, level 10 or so before we get that. And that's if we only put points into those skills. What if I can... Did she watch me here? Is there anything good back here? Are you lost? Yeah, she turns around. What chalice? I bet that sells for a decent amount of cat. A golden chalice? You know what? I bet we can come in here at night and rip some stuff off here. They probably sleep at night, I can only assume. Another incomer. Oh, thanks. Or just add another mouth to the masses. Because unless we get help, I don't know how we're going to keep feeding the people we've already got here. They are supposed to be able to conjure stuff up with their magic, but can they do that with supplies? Can they magic up the food we need? No, they can't. Magic up supplies? Mana, spells, magic it up, whatever you want to call it. Work here might be quite hard, physical labor, but it's supposed to be balanced out with magic. But where is the help that I need? But then, what does magic do for me when I'm hungry? In any case, I won't let myself be deceived. Even if our magic can protect us from what is out there, it is no replacement for a full stomach. Huh. Take a look at our stock. The selection is more limited than I'd like, but it's what we have. Of course, if we weren't besieged by outlaws, albs, and we're still pen pushing bureaucrats, I could offer you more. Pen pushing bureaucrats? Wow. I need better weapons and armor. I can't help you there. You can only get that sort of thing from our blacksmith. But he'll only sell to berserkers. Of course. And even if you're a berserker of the right rank, he will make sure it costs you. How much? A good few shards for sure. But if you've worked your way up through the ranks to be eligible, you should have earned a lot on the way. And the more hands we have working in Goliath, the more chance I have of getting the help I need. Huh. Oh, Charisma 4, so we can't do this yet. It sounds like you have a problem. Oh, I wish it was only one. But let's start with the Ison Clan, promising me regular deliveries from the Valley of the Damned. And then failing to get them for me. It's time Master Thorold returned from his retreat to put this right. But like everyone else, it seems like he has plans greater than, say, making sure everyone gets fed. If we don't get that food, we'll be living on hope and fresh air. But then, why should you care if our warlords don't? You're right, why should I care? <laughs> I'm angry. My only motive is to keep people fed. If I'm going to achieve that, I need someone to talk to Angrim. I need someone to persuade him how serious the situation is. These warriors seem to think that fighting is the only thing that matters. Well, let's see them try fighting when they've not eaten for a week. Can you tell Angrim that's how bad it is? That if we don't start getting boxes of supplies, then the only thing he'll have to eat is boxes. Where can I find this Master Thorold? The Pilgrim has been gone for so long, I'm not sure anyone knows where he is. He announced that he needed to go into retreat for some higher purpose, and that was it. You left. All we know is that his leaving has something to do with Elix and Mana. But what exactly? I don't think anyone knows. Sounds like these supply problems are getting you down. No guards for escorting the supplies here or to distribute them afterwards. Outlaws and clerics stealing some of what we do, Sam. Yes, it's not just you. 
I had my armor stolen by an outlaw. Outlaws. The one thing you can trust them to do is to steal things. And you know where they take the things they've stolen? Well, if they're true outlaws, there is only one place they'll take them. Straight to Tavara and a share of the profit. Interesting to know. I will speak to Angram for you. Thank you. My hunters are doing their best. But we can't get by without those food supplies from the valley. Alright, new mission, food supplies. Teach me something. Of course. Oh, she teaches personality. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. She's a traitor, right? So we have two points. We don't probably have the required stats for any of these at the moment, because we didn't put any points in anything. Gives you an additional attribute point with each level up. That's kind of nice. That's obviously something you want to get early on, but we have to dump everything in intelligence. Yeah, so this game is definitely... You know, you gotta if you you kind of pick your path because you need to put so many points in these things. I, mean, I guess you can go all around, but I don't know if all around is the way to go. Can we trade? Look around. Tell me what you need. Okay, what are you selling, lady? A hatchet? Ooh. Of course, we don't have the stats for that. And a forge wrench. Which is an outlaw weapon. Not as good as the hatchet, but not as demanding either. This only gives us one more damage. Dark green cloth cowl. Plus one armor. For only 190, I guess that wouldn't hurt to grab. And here's a whole bunch of other crap. Instructions on to make the ring of power. Wow. <laughs> Sauron's ring gives you 10 strength. You need a Cyclops eye. We can sell our iron bar. We're going to keep all this stuff. Keep well, That's a spell? Okay. Valuables. Use as an ingredient. Mm. Food, food. I don't want to get rid of the food, potions, the plants yet. Do they have anything like... Okay, junk. We don't really need rubies recording, do we? No, let's keep it. I don't know. Valuables. 295 smokes. At, uh, oh, nice. That's a lot of cigarettes. Dang. So that was a elixir per smoke. Toilet paper. We don't need that. So valuables look like the things you want to sell. And maybe junk? Because the junk doesn't seem... Oh, so these are separate ways to make a small health potion. Wine in a small healing plant or a water bottle in a small healing herb. Okay. So that's kind of cool. You've got multiple ways to do it. So jackhammer is used to extract minerals, so we're keeping that. These are, I don't know if these trophies mean anything. I'm not sure. So we have a thousand and fourteen, but we need money to level up our abilities too. So it's like, do you get armor and do you level up your abilities? The good thing is armor, it looks like you don't need prerequisites on stats. Just the weapons you do. Um, should we buy this for 190? I'm going to hold off right now. It only gives us one point. Complete the trade, yes. Hey, calm down, lady. Where are you going? Are you going to sleep? No. I do want it to crash, because I want to see what's behind that counter. Can we sleep in this bed? 
We can. Can we sleep till midnight? We're in her bed. She can get pissed off at us. Can I do something for you? I can only assume she wants to go to sleep. Oh, there she goes. All right, so she's crashing. We used. I can see you sneaking around over there. We used her bed and slept, and now we're in. <laughs> We're in her place. I want that large bag of elixir. I want all this stuff. Where was that golden chalice? There it is. Not much. Not much, just chilling. You know how it is. Not much at all. I think I said we needed a key for her chest. Needs a key. I bet she has it on her. But we'll have to probably pickpocket her. If that's the route we want to even go with pickpocketing. So sneaky, they can't see us. I don't think there's anything in here worth a damn. Everybody's crashed out though. Ooh. 50 more Alexit. I don't think we need any more mugs at the moment. Mighty healing potion. And let's be honest, this stuff is here to steal it, right? I mean, I believe in Risen Two. You had to learn how to sneak through like a skill. You had to pay somebody to teach you how. I like in this game. What the wrong with you? Wow, you just give me the f bomb. I like in this game that you can just sneak right off the bat. It's kind of cool. You don't have to pay for it. Give you the ability to kind of be sneaky, thievy, right? You know, right away. Let's take a look at what we got there. Cause it tells you the value here, right? Yeah. Kind of curious what the chalice is worth. Not really the apple so much. Golden chalice is worth 50, pretty good, and the normal one's 20. Alright, that'll work. So we got a food supply quest. We gotta talk to Angrim who's supposed to um, help her get her supplies. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. 
so far. We're gonna die really much, except for falling off that tower a lot. <laughs> um, still not sure where I want to go here. So if anybody watches this, let me know what you think we should do. I think I'm gonna stick it with berserkers. I like the idea of being the berserker because they have magic, which I'm kind of interested to see how the magic works. They have a heal spell, that's pretty cool. They have a poisonous aura spell, which will damage over time. They have a sense life spell. So you can see things around you. They have a spirit wolf spell, wolf spell, so you can conjure a spirit. I mean, they're pretty cool. Blood transfer spell. Turns life energy into mana. Aspect of the warrior. Gives a bonus to melee damage. I like that. Leather skin. Obviously, yeah, more armor. Camouflage. We can sneak better. And they're bows, so we get seeker shot, scatter shot options. Enchant weapon. That's pretty cool. And then you get mana and magic. And then you have to join them to get the berserker. The outlaws are more about like crafting, I think, if I remember right. Like they can make chemicals and stims, yeah, that can make them stronger. And then the clerics are pretty much they have a psychic type of magic and they use like um like plasma rifles and things of that nature, so I think I might want to go berserker to see how the magic works. That's I think what I'm going with. Um, so I think that's it for now. I actually forgot to put my alarm on, so I have no idea how long this episode's been. I have a feeling it's been pretty long, though. So I think this is a good place to stop for the night. These first two episodes I did today, and uh, we'll continue on. And I'll leave some comments in the videos if you like. Uh, any ideas what you want to see, what we want to do with our character here. I'm thinking Berserker. I mean, I like the idea of melee, and I'm a fantasy fan anyway, and the idea of doing spells. Um, clerics have an interesting one with their plasma rifles or laser rifles and stuff, but I've kind of just played Mass Effect, and I'm kind of done with those. So I think I'm sticking with Berserker. But let me know what you guys think, um, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. See you.